What's up YouTube, Jen Brother here. Um, you may have saw in my last video I had a couple of cool features on my actual client side. I'm going to show you uh, what the mod is, the cool things that comes with the mod and uh, potentially how to download it. So the mod itself is called the CJB, don't know what it stands for. Um, so you bring up your normal Minecraft inventory. I've got my too many items there and I've got my normal sort of crafting box here. Yeah. Now if you bring, press Y gives you this new menu. You're probably thinking, well, what the hell is this? So CJB mods. So I'm going to take you through each individual step. I won't be too much in detail. I've got every one on. More information, teleport, minimap, x-ray, cheat, items, one of mob fit, or items, mobs and chat, they're all on. More info. It's just basically the things that appear on the left hand side. So I want to put day on, I want to put the time on, I want to show it to me my FPS, I want to show me my light level, but not that keen on the biome. Arrow count not that fast. Item info true. Um, Slimes false coordinates on, coordinates is good, and then yeah, so that that's what I've got at the moment. So you can see now, in the top left of the screen, well, it covers it with this, but you've got the time, which is 8:04, which is the time on the server. You've got the um, the light level, which is 15. Uh, I don't know if you know, I can't remember what the other two were. The lightning one, I think, is the weather. Maybe I don't know. But play around with it. There's, a, there's there's cool features on there. Let's see what until we select is true. So daytime FPS. Uh, I don't know now, but but yeah. I mean, oh, the coordinates are at the top: four zero seven one one five eighty four. Um, teleport. So you could do actually you could set where you want to teleport to, and then use hotkeys for it. So if I wanted to teleport to my house to the spawn, you could do set teleports mini map. I'm going to enable the mini map. And here it appears in the top right corner. Um, I want to put show mobs as true, show players as true, show items as true, coordinates as true, snow as true. I don't want it rotated. Um, if you put it to transparent, it goes like that, but I like it full on out there. You can put it to circle or square. I like square because it shows you more of it. Um, yeah, so that's that one for the time being. Um, then you've got uh, x ray. Now, x ray, you should. I think by now I know what X-ray is, but I'll show you it anyway. The uh, co toggle caves. It's X-ray, but it doesn't show you the blocks and the night vision. So you'll see these now. So look, if I do time night, so you see it's gone night, it's gone dark, yeah. Now if I turn my night vision goggles off, everything's dark. If I turn them on, everything brightens up again. It's a cool little feature. But you can still see it's night time. Um, if I did the Z to show caves. Put it back to daytime quickly. Yeah, so it pretty much just shows you the bottom of the map, but it just shows you some caves. Um, if I did X, proper X-ray. So if you're using the hat client, but you're not, you're using this just normal mod. It's amazing. And uh, you can see there's a cave down there, probably mob spawner. That's really good. Um, press Y again to come back onto there. Item spawner. Um, this shows you if you did shift click, gives you 10 items. Control click gives you 64. Basically, just the commands to set it up here. Um, the blocks, I don't, I haven't touched any of that, and I don't really want to touch any of that. And then the mobs, uh, bunny, both of them are true. I don't really know what they do. So this is the options. Then you got the TP, TP locations, and that's setting up the teleports. Then you got the waypoints. You can actually set up waypoints along the way on the map. Now the X-ray, this is awesome. You can actually choose which blocks you you want to be able to see through. So in this case, if I if I show you it now. We've got a load of coal there, yeah? Now if I show you again, if I select that coal, you can't see that any, uh you can't see it anymore. That's the wait, let me take both of them off. Right, so here X for X ray. All the coal's now gone. All you can see is the iron and stuff like that. So if you was good enough, if you selected like every block here but diamond that so we'll do it like this to start with uh, yeah I think that's going to be pretty much all of them when you now hit x-ray the only blocks that will show below will be the diamond and oh yeah I've still got redstone on there you go diamond and redstone which is really good for limiting down what you actually want to see so uh, I do like that that mod or that aspect of the mod um, items for now it's just like creative mode so stone gives myself a stone Control stone gives me 64 stone. It'll only work if you have the permission to do it, which is the give permission. But the way it's laid out is brilliant. You've got uh, sort of blocks here, 
that's all the blocks within the game. You've got the tools, which are the tools, you've got the armor, you've got the dice, you've got the food, you've got potions, you've got the ores, you've got the mechanics, and you've got miscellaneous, and you've got the custom ones. Now you've got the dragon egg, you've got these weird pressure plates here, you've got a dog biscuit. Now these don't work, as you see, I'll, I'll click on all of these. The only one that worked was the ender egg one, because it's actually pre-built into the server. But the rest of these wouldn't work, but they'll work on you if you play if you're single player. Um, cheats, so you've got flying, yeah, you can fly on the server. Choose which uh, settings you want to have it to. So, as you can see, I'm flying up, down, that works, that works really well. Um, chat. I, I haven't played around with this chat yet, so I'm not honestly sure. And then help, uh, it sort of freezes it for a bit. As you can see here with the chat one, so if you run up to chat there, you can't you can't really do anything on there. If you hit chat log, you can actually go up and down the log and select stuff as well. That's really awesome. So it's a great, great, great mod. It's definitely something to get. Um, a lot of servers, a lot of stuff won't work on if they run anti X ray, anti this, anti that, anti item spawning. A lot of stuff won't necessarily work for you. But even for single player purposes, it is amazing. So uh, come check out the server. It's a Savage Realm server. Put the IP in the description. I'm a co-owner on that server. Um, come check it out. Please like this video. Please comment on this video. Um, the, the reason why this is taking a while to load in. I'm, I'm uploading a video to YouTube. I'm rendering a video on my rendering software. And then I'm recording this one at the same time. But um, yeah, have a good Christmas, guys. Because it is Christmas soon. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.